why are credit unions buying all the venues? We've talked about the Mountain America Center, mm-hmm. the Mac, as we call it, because we can, because mm-hmm. we don't do promotions with them. I mean, I can do it here, <laughs> but the, not, on, yeah, not, not, a, not at my radio Your kick. program director will be up your butt. <laughs> yeah, I'd, I'd get in trouble. <laughs> Holt Arena is now the ICCU Arena. Civic Auditorium is now the mm-hmm. Frontier Center for the Performing Arts. Let's bookmark that. Right. And, of course, Hillcrest's Stadium is now the Westmark Credit Union Stadium. Mm-hmm. So my big question was, are we giving the credit unions too much of our money? (laughs) Right. Listener Don sent a screenshot of Section 122 of the Federal Credit Union Act, which states, credit unions are exempt from all taxes, except for local real property and personal property taxes. Hmm. Huh. Interesting. So, yeah. Much like a religious organization, Hmm. they don't have to pay taxes. So they're flush with cash, and that's why they're sponsoring venues. Now, look. I'm not complaining because without their influx of cash, Mm -hmm. Hillcrest might not have a new stadium. That's true. And the Frontier Center for the Performing Arts might Mm -hmm. still be the Civic Auditorium and might not be getting, while we're bringing this up, take a look at these artist renderings Mm -hmm. of what the new facade and the new lobby of the Idaho Falls Civic Auditorium, no, (laughs) uh, of the Frontier Center for the performing arts will look like pretty cool, huh? It is pretty cool. So I've mentioned that my dad runs this place and he has a lot of opinions on it. Um, one thing that I think the designers of this should keep in mind, if any of them are listening, which I doubt, but I hope you are, is the person who's there every day has some really good insight that might help with your design in a way that you might not think of. Right. Like who, The person who has arranged and accommodated and mm-hmm. help produce like every show that's been there in the last 10? Oh. 20? Uh, at least 20. Uh, Years? More like 30. Might have some good feedback there. Yeah. 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 So the Civic Auditorium was built in 1952. Right. It's been 72 years. Mm-hmm. It's eight years younger than the water tower. <laughs> wow. Wild to think of. So it's time for an upgrade, and that's cool. Mm-hmm. My big question is, is it the Frontier Center for the Performing Arts Or just Frontier Center for Performing Arts. Right. And you know how much I hate inconsistent branding, even with the word the mic? Yes. Yeah, it's still important. What do you want people to call it? Everywhere. City of Idaho Falls website. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Because it's owned (laughs) by the City of Idaho Falls, right? But uh, Idaho Falls Arts Council, they all call Mm -hmm. it the Civic, the Frontier, geez, there's the slip. The Frontier Center for the Performing Arts. Right. But I swear that they didn't have enough room on the sign. And so it says Frontier Center for Performing Arts. I know. Listen, people. Call it the thing everywhere. Here's another example. Mm -hmm. You know the Eastern Idaho State Fair? Right. Uh Uh-huh. You go to walk in the main gate of the Eastern Idaho State Fair, Mm -hmm. and what does the sign say? Yeah, doesn't it say East Idaho State Fair? It sure does. Yeah. And I don't know if they just couldn't afford those last three letters way back in the day and just haven't fixed it, or if that's what it was called back in the day. Mm -hmm. Fix it. I wonder if so many people- Fix it. I wonder if so many people started calling it the Eastern (laughs) Idaho State Fair that they just rolled with it. Yeah, maybe. You know, instead of East Idaho State Fair. Think about it now. Think right. about the shape of Idaho. Yeah. <laughs> the L on my forehead. There is no Northeastern Idaho. Yeah. And I know it might not even be grammatically correct to say East Idaho, but then there was East and West Germany, right? Like it's it's just so much easier, I think, mm-hmm. to say East. I think they should go back to calling it the East Idaho State Fair, if indeed it was ever called that. Yeah. Yeah. I, I could see that. Well, it's it's faster. It's easier. And, you know, I feel like... Just in general, it's going to fit on so many more branding opportunities than Eastern. Yeah. You know, like just getting the font right would be so much easier. So Uh, speaking of Blackfoot, did you know that they're repaving the road? And we don't know if this is going to happen in the next 90 days before the fair. But the city of Blackfoot received the Idaho Community Development Block Grant for downtown revitalization for $500,000. Oh, nice. Which will be used to bring North Broadway Street up to current standards. Oh, good. You know, the street in front of the fairgrounds Mm -hmm. that is the most popular street in Blackfoot for nine days out of the year. Right, right. So I don't know if they'll get that done during summer construction season. I wonder if they'll add some parking, too. 
That would be great. That would be so great. <laughs> Unless you're one of the people that live near the fairgrounds in Blackfoot and mm-hmm. open up your lawn to the general public for 10 <sighs> bucks a pop. <laughs> I mean, it's a way to make money. Yeah. Well, and honestly, that's probably the only way that living that close to the fairgrounds would even be bearable. Yeah. Is at least you know you're going to get a little payout from it. Tolerate people parking on your lawn, walking mm-hmm. across your lawn, as long as you're getting a little bit of... Yeah. Scratch. Well, and that's the thing. You're you're already going to have to deal with way too many people, way too much traffic, yeah. all the noise, all the lights, all the BS around the fair. Oh, yeah. Till you know? like midnight. Right. Yeah. You're not getting any. So, I wonder. Yeah. So at the very least, you should have, you should have the opportunity to capitalize on it. Right. 